Uh, so my name's uh, Professor Chris Baker, I'm Director of Research for William Temple Foundation uh, and I'm also Professor of Religion and Public Life at Goldsmiths University of London. Uh, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so it's quite hard to find signs of hope, isn't it, sometimes? I think for me, um, the signs of hope are um, the collapsing of what I'd call some of the false boundaries between the religious and the secular. So as the world becomes more globalised, and as I think in the 21st century in particular, we've, 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 we've recognised the increased uh, power of religion again to, to influence things. Um, so, so in Western societies, you're seeing that kind of um, religion coming back into the public square, but in a way that, that uh, subverts or kind of challenges the kind of very binary way in which we've looked at the public square in the past, that religion is something that has to be private, the only thing that can be public is the secular. I think a lot of people uh, themselves choose not to be labelled as either religious or secular, but increasingly I think you're finding the, those old distinctions that we used to have no longer contain the, the energy and diversity that there is in public life. So the science of hope for me are um, often very creative ways in which people have all different faiths and persuasions are coming together to try and make a difference. So it's, it's creating new spaces of political engagement, new spaces of thinking. Oh, huge signs of fear, yes, unfortunately. Um, I think we're living in a very uh, anxious time. Um, the downside of globalisation is that, that there's no kind of one narrative, there's no one you know, body or idea that's going to kind of steer the world. So I think what that's created is a vacuum, lack of accountability, lack of leadership, and in that vacuum, of course, all sorts of very negative stuff can, can be chucked in. So uh, the fear is usually fear, anxiety about other people, difference, uh, fear of change, um, and a feeling of not being in control, which I think just brings out the worst in people as well as the best. I think uh, the main places where religion and belief make contact in civil society is that um, it's a resource that's been there uh, for generations in terms of buildings, in terms of people's uh, activities in the community. Uh, we know that religion and belief provides the framework for engagement in public life. Um, so it provides people, it provides resources. Um, a lot of people are motivated by their beliefs and values that come from religious and indeed non-religious backgrounds to, to serve in public life. So a lot of people uh, find themselves in positions of responsibility or try to make a change uh, because of their religious or non-religious beliefs. Uh, and maybe the final contribution is that religion and belief always question the status quo at their best. They always say, um, there is an alternative to the current situation. So they kind of provide uh, a kind of alternative vision or imagination for the sort of society we could build. The, the, the parts of, well, the, the main part I think that William Temple shares with today's kind of world is that he was writing in a context that's very similar to ours, I think in lots of ways, context of the breakdown of authority, um, the rise of the right, and the rise of the left, in terms of what you might call uh, hard ideologies or totalitarian ideologies. Um, so he knew what it was right, what it was like to live through um, and try and uh, create a sense of hope and order out of situations that were very, at the time, seemed very overwhelming and threatening. So he, he was writing during the build-up to the Second World War. He wrote during the Second World War itself. Um, but he found hope, and I think he expressed hope, even in the darkest days of, of the Second World War, uh, that you know things aren't necessarily given, they can always be changed, but what really changes things is a change of imagination, a change of mindset. Uh, and so consciously deciding what sort of society we want to construct, and then working together in partnership to construct that sort of society. I think part of the problem that we have in today's world, which you would have recognised, was that uh, although some certain good things have come out of um, the market and globalisation, 
Uh, what has not been good is that growing sense of inequality, that growing sense of uh, despair and lack of hope that people have, which of course drives them towards very ideological, very authoritarian uh, ideologies of people. Of people. I think William Foundation, Temple Foundation has always tried to look backwards but also forward. So we, we constantly uh, find a kind of um, theological touchstone in Temple's work. So the way he combined a kind of Christian imagination with empirical research and looking at other philosophical systems. So he was very keen to create uh, a kind of broader picture. Um, but being located within his own tradition, which I think is really important. Um, but I think in terms of going forward, um, he just simply says, um, it's up to all of us to be very clear about what sort of society we want to build. So he, he would use the word social order. He'd say, what sort of social order do we want to create? And he would say, be bold, be hopeful, be confident, uh, take you know, sources from wherever that, that, that feed into that hopeful narrative, whether they're scientific, whether they're philosophical, whether they're religious. And really, he, I think the challenge to the churches in particular, maybe the, you know, the church and other religions, which he exemplified beautifully, was this idea of leadership. You know, who's going to pull it all together? It does need, it's all very well saying these things, but it does actually need someone to create the space where these things do actually come together. And again, I think. Uh, you know, people, people don't say, don't they, in the current critical age, there's a lack of leadership, there's a lack of somebody who's got the authority and the kind of vision to bring together lots of different perspectives, but steering them towards a very definite goal.